Martin. Je ne fais ça ne fait pas ça. Non, non. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bikana. If you're new here, I create lifestyle, travel, and real estate videos in Jamaica. If you want to check out some of those videos, go ahead and click my face, watch some of the videos, and if you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button and join the B squad. So, in today's video, we'll be talking about 12 things I love about Jamaica. If you're new here and you didn't see my 13 things I hate about Jamaica, then <clears throat> welcome. <laughs> so some people loved it and agreed with what I thought and you know some things that I said, but then some people hated it and said that I don't ever talk about anything positive, which is not true. But um, just for us and for them, we're going to talk about 12 things I love about Jamaica. And today's a very special day. Happy independence as you saw from the intro today is our 59th independence day and i'm so proud to be a jamaican i'm so proud to live in jamaica and to be you know working here and helping the economy and just doing my part as a citizen and then for those of you who can't come to jamaica or who can't live here you're doing your part as well just go and big up yourself and let's jump into the video so I have a list here on my phone because I didn't want to get off topic or start to ramble. So if you see me reading down, that's what I'm doing. So let's get into it. 12 things I love about Jamaica. Number one, our people. We shine wherever we go. All over the world, you'll know a Jamaican. We have pride and we love our home and culture. And we're always friendly and ready to help. That's one thing that... Um, Jamaicans have that everyone that can say that we're always ready to help and we're always friendly um, Granted sometimes we have our bad days you know, but if somebody stop you in Jamaica and they ask for help directions or whatever We're always ready to help and uh, we have pride I'm gonna pop up some pictures that you you know You'll just always tell like who is Jamaican wherever we go whether you're here in Jamaica or abroad You can just always tell by the way we carry ourselves and I love that about us We're Jamaican we're proud Jamaicans. <laughs> Number two, how resourceful we are. So you'll see window washers, street vendors, people set up other forms of businesses just to hustle and stay afloat. Um, I don't mean to compare other countries, but compared to other countries, Jamaica have, you know, this mentality where every make make a muckle. So you always have to hustle, you always have to, you know, like get the next thing going. And you'll see the one and two people who are begging, but the majority of the people that you see on the road or anywhere else in Jamaica, and even abroad, they'll be doing it so they can make the money and they can earn a living to support their family, support their friends, support themselves. So we're very resourceful. Number three, our food. We have the best food, hands down. And I apologize, I should have said this earlier, if you hear any like car passing by, any dog barking, any plane overhead, birds chirping, I can't control my surroundings and that's just how it goes. So our food is the best. Need I say more? <laughs> um, we have a diverse taste with presentation like our oxtail good, our um, curry goat good, our curry chicken good, rice and peas, Aki and saltfish, roast breadfruits, like I can list everything. We have something for everybody. Um, if you're vegan, we have idol. You love meat, we have woolly for meat dishes. Um, and the amazing thing is nobody can eat Jamaican food and say it doesn't taste good. Like I've never heard that before, ever. So that's the third thing that I love about Jamaica and being Jamaican. The fourth is the music. The music. Bob Marley, Vibes Cartel, Barris, Popcorn, Buju, Shensia, Spice, Lady Saw, Jada. You know, even um Wally for other people. I don't want to list anybody and then feel like I'm leaving people out. We have so much artists and our music is different. Granted, we have dancehall and reggae, but we also have ska and we also have rocksteady and other genres. 
Most of all though, the music has a message from governmental corruption to self-love and independence. It speaks volumes. We have music that might talk about materialistic things of the world, but our music in general just have a vibe like you can play it and feel good you can play it and feel like you know you're ready for drink you can play it and feel like you're ready for dance you can play it and feel like you're ready to lay back on a beach and drink some like pina colada or something um or jamaica me crazy or something um so our music it, it, you know like there's something for everybody um, if you if you like the violent song them then you like the violent song them But if you want something wholesome you have that as well and even our gospel music our gospel music is so Different compared to other like gospel music it, everything about it is just nice you get me our music spans from nations to generations and It's it's one of the instrumental thing. It always impacts other cultures like I feel like our music is one of the the type of music that is the base that leads up to other music and hip hop and R&B and uh, reggaeton. Our music is influencing other genres. You get me? It influences other artists all over the world. Like look on Drake. Drake swear he's Jamaican. It influences so much people. So I I can't even go on any longer. Number five, we are the originators. Okay. When you see hot girls downtown, look for the trends to start rolling. And this one is kind of like spreading as well to the Jamaicans abroad because a lot of black females abroad tend to influence the culture, as people would like to say. You know, from hair to makeup to the, 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 the clothes that you wear, the bags that you wear. It, you're influencing other people. But I feel like Jamaicans like originate a lot of trends, influence a lot of people. And don't get me wrong, you know, people all over the world are very influential. But Jamaicans, we are the originators and we influential but right? Or the blueprint. Believe it or not, but it's fact. Some people might look down on, on girls, you know, downtown or in Spanish town or um in certain areas um as ghetto but a couple months down the line you're the same person wearing that um color color hair in your hair as well you're the same person wearing those bright colored clothes as well you get me end of the day we're just originators and that's one thing i keep saying one thing but that's another thing that i love about jamaica and jamaicans and if you feel like i'm cutting up the video too much in the last two minutes there's been like 10 cars that drove by so I apologize but let's move on number six our party life we literally enjoy life like um, I can't remember who it was but there is this artist that came to Jamaica like a year or two before COVID he partied I believe from sunrise till sunset till sunrise till sunset again and he went online and he talked about it he's like yo these jamaicans can party like i think he was like talking about how it was like 5 a.m in the morning and people are talking about let's go to the next place so honestly and i've experienced that myself like you know getting ready and leaving out probably like 11 and the party don't finish until 8 a.m the next morning and that's crazy like I can't describe many places I know New York City is a city that never sleeps but like Jamaicans are the, the people that always party you get me it's always a party and I love that um, I have in my notes that we just know how to enjoy ourselves and we have fun and I love that for us and I love that about Jamaica because we have a culture where people want to come here and they want to party they want to have fun they want to see people um, doing the dance hall dances they want to hear um, the artists at the road shows like it's it just is a vibe number seven Jamaicans have manners manners worse the country people them manners good morning good good afternoon good evening good night manners right true um this is from my experience and i've been to a couple other states cities countries and i haven't experienced anybody that tell me good morning so much or evening so much like jamaican people we just have manners differently next favorite thing about jamaica I wish I could have recorded it right now. This is how I'm gonna finish it off. 
country people have manners to an next level and i love that and that's that <laughs> number eight natural beauty jamaica is a natural beauty like you can't find this beauty anywhere else and you cannot buy it anywhere else yeah um nature and jamaica goes hand in hand when i moved i used to be so sad because you know i wouldn't see as much lush vegetation in new york as i saw in jamaica and honestly like when you're doing road trips and you're looking out the road and you see whole heap of bush and you see you see the beach and you see the hills i didn't have that where i was and that made me sad you know and i feel like we take for granted the things that we have here and unfortunately we we sell out too much of our natural beauty not just with um the country and the land but with the people and our culture um i'll link a video down vice news did a reporting slash documentary on what's going on in the cockpit country and if you haven't watched it i feel like it is an amazing watch and it is an amazing issue to take up and just to be informed about especially with regards to the the look of our country and how it's affecting the people so let me just finish it off um, I love our natural beauty and it pains me to see the government sell it out but that's another topic not to mention the beaches rivers and areas like cockpit country so like I said check out the description box to watch that documentary that Vice News did um, I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed you might be disappointed though in how the government is selling out the country but you won't be disappointed in the information and the voices that you hear in that video so Let's move on. Number nine. Jamaicans always stand out. Always, always, always. And this is going more towards the Jamaicans abroad. Whether you be in America, Canada, UK. Whether you be in Japan. Whether you be in Zimbabwe, Nigeria, Ireland. Jamaicans stand out. I'm going to put in the pictures and videos here. I know I popped in some earlier. But yo, we're real. We're real. Uh, yo, we're weird flagging up. We wear the flag like the flag is an outfit we wear it um, Jamaicans just we, we stand out and I love that um it's like where's Wally but it's easier to find I love that because it shows our pride in our country and ourselves we love this island so much that you'll see people wearing the flag literally all over and that's beautiful like you step out and you're in a your green your yellow uh, your black you're in the literal flag and that's amazing number 10 the climate I love our weather when it's hot I appreciate the heat and complain as we all love to do but when it rains I'm super grateful and appreciative because you know it brings back warmth and love and it, it rejuvenates the soil so I love when it rains and Jamaica too hot so sometimes when it rains it just kind of cool down the place and it real it's nice I'm super grateful and appreciative of the refreshing relief and personally I don't like snow and I don't like to be cold so I know fall is coming in other places and that used to make me sad it used to make me sad I feel like um, seasonal depression is a thing so being able to be in a country that's predominantly warm granted I can go to you know country country like like Trelawney and you know I have my fall like weather in Jamaica or I can go hiking in the Blue Mountains and have my fall slash spring like weather but overall it's warm and when I feel warm I feel good like I'm not freezing my fingers aren't falling off my nose not frozen my ear is not tingling it feels good to be warm and nice so, so yeah the climate is one of the top things that I love about Jamaica and I feel like it's obviously one of the top things that a lot of people love about Jamaica number 11 country life country living is a different type of living compared to you know town country living is just so laid back relaxed and every different when I say country because somebody had corrected me but if you understand you understand country as in not the city um so Jamaica you can have you know you can have Westmoreland country St. Elizabeth country Trelawney Portland and they're all different but one in the same it's very laid back it's very nice it's very cool the air just different the atmosphere different it's, it's refreshing it's very refreshing 
so those of you who live in country big up yourself drop a comment down below and let me know like would you ever move to town if you had the opportunity to move would you move because i have a feeling that a lot of people would not move and i have a feeling that a lot of people want to live in country versus town it's just that we need to have more things available in country and i kid you not somebody pinch me if i'm lying I was talking to a man and he was like, I'm just so grateful that they're bringing more things to country so I don't have to go all the way to town. I kid you not, he said that himself. So country life is one of the best lives in Jamaica, one of the healthiest lives that you're eating from the ground up, I swear to you. Let's move on. This is the final one. I love bag juice. I love bag juice and I know that statement is like what does that have to do with anything well let me explain it everything that's unique to us so when I say I love bag juice bag juice is one of those things that it's it's kind of unique to Jamaica other countries have it too in a boat with if I post a picture on Instagram of my bag juice I have some friends in New York that will send me bare Jamaica flags in my DM yeah so I know other countries have these things, but I love bag juice from Jamaica. I love Julie mango. I love stringy mango. I love vanilla Alaska. Um, when my grandpa would cool my chocolate down by pouring, you know, one into the other. I love that. Um, going to bush with my grandfather. Um, and a lot of people have said the same thing that they loved going to bush with their grandparents as well. So our sayings especially the things that you know older people would say to younger people like every mickle make a muckle um something about hogwash and something something like all the old time saying them like it's just so unique to us because we are unique you know what other saying come to mind hold on i'm going to cut this clip here but i'm going to come back real quick now for ask christ now for ask or mana ask me a tell Jamaican people can say that so often. I'm just like, I don't hear any other person in any other country saying that, saying things like that. Um, so it's just the things that make us unique. So I hope you enjoy this video of 12 things I love about Jamaica. And you know, I love being here. I'm grateful. I'm 100% grateful to be Jamaican and to live here. Um, and when I do say, you know, this is something that I hate, it's not a lie I hate it because I know we can be better and I know we can do better and if I don't talk about those other negative things then they're never going to change if we never talk about things how do we expect them to change so when I did do that video I didn't do it with the intentions of you know um, dissing our country or dissing people but I want to see change and in order to see that I have to talk about it so I hope you enjoy this video drop in the comments things that you love about Jamaica and let me know if you like some of these things as well that I listed list them if you have other things that you love share it you know this is a safe space and let's talk positively about our country especially on this beautiful Independence Day so I hope you have a great day I hope you had a great Independence Day um, thank you guys so much for watching